Okay, let's introduce something um, simple and useful. Okay, so max is a function that takes an arbitrary number of arguments and returns the maximum argument. Okay, so that makes sense. There is no problem. But what happens if I say max? And I happen to have well, the same data items, but they are in a um, vector. Okay, so that's um, that's good. Um, one would think that it's like sure, yeah, the computer should be just able to figure out the, uh, what we want, right? So we would want to have the answer six. Let's see what we get. Oops, we get back the, uh, the full collection. So it's actually Max is saying that, oh, I get only one argument, which is a collection, but I don't care because if I know there is only one argument, I know the maximum because I don't even have to compare to anything. So I just return it back. So that's not what we want. Okay, this is a bit like the situation that um, I give you a bag of apples, right? And if you want to eat the apples, you have to sort of open the bag and get the pieces out. You cannot eat through the, uh, even if it's a paper bag, it would be not so nice to eat through the, the bag. Okay, so that's what we do. So one way to think about, we have, um, so let me just copy this over. We have this function called apply. And you can think of it as, um, as the on packet. Okay, so this will um, turn will call max with the arguments that in the collection. So it will do exactly this call at the top. Okay, let's see what happens here. Ah, that's uh, six. So that's quite um, nice. Similar situation. If you want to add numbers together, yeah, you can do that. But if they are happen to be in a collection, so what do we get? Well, it's like we just get back again. It's like plus is not even considering that it's like, oh yeah, this is a vector. I don't know how to add uh, vectors here. It's just I have a single element, then the sum is just that element. Okay. However, if I say apply plus, then I get the right thing. Another example, I have stir and um, I have really stirred these um, characters and it creates just the string. However, let's, um, let's see, if I um, have this, oops, uh, it's, um, it's not all, it doesn't always work. Okay, so now it is in the collection. So what do I get? Whoa, I actually get a string representation of, of that vector. Okay, well, that's uh, definitely not what I wanted. Again, I can just use apply to unpack the last collection. Okay, and now it is fine. So you can think of it, apply as... Um, If you have, um, okay, let's put it in comments because this is not to record. If you have apply f 
of x, y, and z, that is the same as f of x, y, and z. Okay, so apply basically uh, unpacks this collection and just puts it into a function f. And now this explains why it is called uh, apply because this is manual function call. As you can see, apply gets a function and a collection of things and just considers that collection, the items there, is the arguments of the function and calls that function. Okay, so you can think about it in two different ways. One is um, apply unpacks um, a collection and feeds it into a function, or you can think is oh yeah, this is just manual function call, manual function application. So if you want to get the uh, maximum of a collection, you just apply max. Max itself will not uh, do that.